Bibles, and I hope you're having a fabulous week. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be about BB creams. Now, I'm going to tell you, I was not going to buy into the whole BB cream, CC cream hype. Okay, I'm, I, when it first came out, I was like, oh, this is just another ploy for the cosmetic industry to lure us girls in, get the fishing rod out, and lure us in to go and spend mo our money. And um, I have held off, and now I'm getting second thoughts. But of course, that's me. Um, you know, I am a gullible and I figured I would join the bandwagon. However, I haven't gone out and purchased anything yet. I am doing my research. Normally I will just go out and buy stuff and then try out the product, but I want to get a really good product. And the reason why I'm thinking I should get a BB cream is that I want something for the summer. I don't want a foundation because I find foundations really heavy for myself in the summertime. And I prefer a tinted moisturizer. And my go-to moisturizer in the summer, like tinted moisturizer, is the Laura Mercier. It has an SPF 25. I am in the color sand beige. And I love it. But now I'm thinking, well, maybe I should try a BB cream because it does claim that it has more ingredients in it to help your skin. And as I'm aging, I thought I could use all the help I can get until I go to the, through, you know, a cosmetic surgeon and get the knife procedure done. But you need money for that, so... I guess I'm going to wait for a long time before I get anything like that done. So anyways, I received this sample in my Sephora um, VIB bag a few months ago, and it is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. And I was intrigued by this product, so I got this foil package, and the foil package is 0 0.05 fluid ounces or 1.5 milliliters of product. And when I squeezed everything out, because I have a little, you know how Sephora, when you get samples, they give you those little jars? Well, I keep them, and I put my foil package samples in there. So I squeezed all the product out, and I have at least two days for sure. I put that on, yeah, I'm going to say three days worth of product uh, from this little foil package. Now, the color that was given to me is light, so I did find it a little light for my skin tone, but I'm going to let you know what Smashbox claims. I'm going to talk about the price, um, what its benefits are, what the pros and cons were for myself, and then my final s summation <laughs> of the product. So, stay tuned with me. I hope you uh, watch this video to the end and uh, yeah, okay, so here we go. So, like I said, I got the color light. Now, this is what Smashbox claims this BB cream does. It claims that it has SPF 35. Well, it does have SPF 35, so it's not a claim. It's an actual fact. But it does claim that it's a 5-in-1 complexion, complexion miracle uh, worker. It's proven to prime, protect, uh, perfect, hydrate, and control oil in a single step. Wow, that's a lot of claimage. And then it also says that it won't settle into fine lines and pores, and it banishes shine without a chalky matte finish, and then it visibly will reduce your fine uh, lines and wrinkles after four weeks. Now, I don't know about the whole four weeks banishing your lines and wrinkles because it is, it is primarily a makeup, Okay, it does have moisturizer in it, but I still think that you need some kind of treatment underneath this product, especially if you're older and you're treating like, I don't know, dark spots or if you have extremely dry skin. Like I, I do have drier skin, so, you know, I want something that's hydrating, but I don't think that this is going to eliminate your fine lines and wrinkles. I, I highly doubt that, but if some of you are using this product and you find that it does do that, let me know because I'm very interested in knowing that. So um, now, I'm going to dispute some of the claims that it does state, okay, after having tried it. Now, um, it does prime your face. I don't feel like I needed to put a primer. I don't, I rarely do prime my face when I do put a foundation, so for me, that step is a hit and miss. If I'm in the mood to put a primer on, I will, but it's not something that I normally do. Um, protect, well, it does have SPF 35, so I'm going to say yes, it does protect. 
Hydrate, I felt that my face was hydrated. I didn't feel that it was uh, dry throughout the day. I did put this product on at 7.30 a.m. this morning. It is now um, 8 p.m. and I still have product on my face. I feel that it's still got a nice um, uh, even complexion. Um, it does do that. It does even out your complexion. It is medium coverage in my opinion. I have little uh, freckles on my cheeks and they do show still but not a lot so I'm going to say it's a medium uh, coverage. And I'm not, I don't suffer from oily skin so I don't, I don't have, usually have a, sometimes my forehead gets oily but with this product I didn't notice any kind of oilness on my face. And it does state that it doesn't settle into your fine lines and pores. Well, this is where I'm going to dispute this product because it does settle into your pores. Um, I don't have a lot of fine lines around my face. Like under my eyes I do, but I put concealer under there, so I don't really think that I can judge it for that. But it does go into my nose. I have pores in my nose, okay, like we all do. And... It was like 1 o'clock in the afternoon, <laughs> and I'm looking in the mirror at work, and I'm like, oh my God, what are all these little dots? And it was the product that had settled into my pores around my nose. So not cute, okay? It was not cute at all. So I'm rubbing and rubbing and rubbing to try to get it out, and yeah, it kind of stayed in there. So that, it does settle into your pores. So sorry, Smashbox. I should, you shouldn't be claiming that because it does, especially me, like, I mean, it happened to me. I don't know if it's happened to anybody else, but personally speaking, it does settle in your in your pores. Now, as far as the, um, the finish, it does give you a nice uh, semi-matte finish. So it's not super matte, but and it's not super dewy. It's a really nice medium um, finish, and your face does look flawless. It's really a pretty finish when you put it on. So um, as far as that, that, their claims, it's only the one that I can really dispute at this point. Now another good thing, one of the good things I like about this, that it does have the SPF 35. Most, play, most cosmetics has SPF 25. I have not seen anything with 35, at least for the pro cosmetics that I purchased. So this is really a nice feature. And then the other feature I like about it is that it comes in eight different shades. So they have a fair, they have a light, but they have two different shades of light. They have two different shades of medium. There is a light medium shade, and then there's a deep shade for darker, darker toned skin. Now, the con of this product, in my opinion, is $50 Canadian. And you get one fluid ounce for $50 Canadian. Are you kidding me? Why is it that they can do that? It drives me crazy. I know it's Smashbox. I know it's not your Garnier and your Maybelline and all the drugstore BB creams. But really, $50? That's craziness. And then get a load of this. For the U.S., it's $39. And I went on the Sephora site. So if you purchase it on the U.S. Sephora, it's $39 U.S. And if you purchase it on the Canadian Sephora, it's $50 U.S. So if you are able to get it in the U.S., I suggest going there because taxes in Ontario is are 13%, my friends, and therefore this is going to be close to a $60 product. So that is a big con in my opinion. <laughs> Anyways, um, aside from that, I do like the product. I may be enticed to go and purchase it, to be quite honest with you. Um, but I would wait until I'm in the U.S. to get to to buy it, and I probably would get the medium because the light, although it was nice, it's a little light for my my skin tone, and I want to wear it in the summertime. So I don't want it to cover my tan because I know I do tan, and then I bitch because you know oh I'm getting old. But yeah, I do like to have some color in the sun. I do use. Um, my SPF though when I do suntan and I put like a 45 on my face and then I put a 50 on my chest because I don't want to get that crepey ugly chest that you know you see some people have and I don't want that but that's not the video is not about the crepey chest it's about Smashbox so anyways that's my review on this product um, if any of you have tried out a drugstore product of the BB creams or another uh, higher-end BB cream out there, please give me your comments below because I am shopping for BB creams. 
I really like this product with the exception of the pore, um, you know, that it went on my nose like, and it sunk into my pores. I think I can overcome that. I think I can work with it. Um, and the price point. Those are the two cons. So I don't want to really go with a drugstore BB cream and the reason for that is because they don't have a lot of uh, colors spectrum and I don't want to just be a generic medium or a generic light medium because you know it's, sometimes it's too pink sometimes it's too orange I just don't like that so anyways I'd love to hear your feedback I hope that this um, was helpful for some of you and please thumbs up my video subscribe and check me back again check me back again does that even make sense but come back to my channel. You're welcome anytime. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. Ciao for now.